imagine driving down the freeway when out of nowhere a pitchfork is taking dead aim at your car and slams right into your windshield at 60 miles an hour? That pitchfork came within inches of a man's head and it's one of many dangerous encounters that drivers in the Houston area have faced when it comes to road debris. Tonight, KPRC2 investigator Bill Spencer reveals some of the largest and most dangerous items found on Houston roadways and the very important information that could save you money if your car ends up looking like this. It's every driver's highway nightmare. Huge pieces of road debris goes. rocketing through the air, turning our freeways into one giant pinball machine. It's at 65, 75 miles an hour, and it's headed straight at you. Road debris on our roadways is a very big problem. We're talking about wooden boards, shards of glass, sheets of metal, truck tires, almost anything you can imagine flying off other vehicles, slamming into you. One time, uh, we did get a call for a spa, a hot tub. Sure enough, there was a hot tub in the middle of I-10 traffic. I was going you know, 50 or 60 miles an hour one way. The truck was coming probably the same speed the other way when the pitchfork came loose and came directly at me and just, just smacked right at the windshield and shattered it. Stuart Roy is a loving husband and father who was nearly killed when this six-foot pitchfork stopped just inches from his own face. With the forks coming first directly at my head, the forks came all the way through the windshield and past my hands you know, on the steering wheel, maybe 16, 18 inches from my head. It happens a lot more than you think. According to TxDOT, in 2020, there were 2,551 road debris accidents in Texas alone, just halfway through 2021, and we've already seen 1,400. So why does this keep happening? AAA says a whopping two-thirds of these accidents occur when people transport items and yet fail to properly tie them down to their vehicles. KPRC2 Investigate showed you this issue back in 2016, using twine to secure a mattress, the very same way thousands of Americans do when moving or buying a new bed. Just missed the trooper behind us. But what happens if your car is hit by road debris? I mean, who pays the bill? Let's say I get hit by a piece of road debris. It does $3,000 damage to my car. Who's going to pay for that damage? In that case, you have to have comprehensive coverage. If you do, your insurance will cover it, minus your deductible. Um, but otherwise, you're out of pocket. <laughs> Joe Jones is a lawyer who specializes in accident cases. In fact, his own wife had a huge piece of plywood fly up and smash right into her car bumper. Joe says even if you're seriously injured by flying road debris, if you can't identify where it came from, you're out of luck. Even if you have full coverage, even if you have underinsured and uninsured motorist protection, if you can't identify where that debris came from, you're getting nothing. Shelby Colley was driving her three children home from the store when this three-foot steel blade came out of nowhere, slicing its way right through her SUV. It absolutely looked like a sword. It was so close to the window. Could have been through the windshield. Could have been through the kid's window. Now, both she and Stuart have this advice. Should you suddenly see a road debris situation developing in front of you? And I move over. I get away from any vehicle that has anything in the back. Whereas I see something a little crazy ahead of me, um, if somebody go you know, unsafe situation. I'm slowing down. I'm getting over in a different lane. I just get out of the way. You know, Stuart's exactly right. The experts say the best way to avoid flying road debris is to continually scan the road ahead of you and then safely slow your speed if you see anything and safely change lanes. Remember, the majority of these accidents occur when drivers fail to properly secure items to the top of their vehicles. String doesn't work, tape, twine, none of that works. This works. It's a $10 tool called a ratchet strap. And we show you exactly how to use this tool on our website, clicktohouston.com. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC2 Investigates. Wow, crazy video.